Welcome to my channel as always everyone. My name is Mr. Certified. Hi, I am back. It was a brief... I, I planned on taking this weekend or the past weekend off um, and kind of not streaming or recording anything. I did plan on doing that. I did not plan on not posting again or streaming again until today. Well, I streamed yesterday. This video will come out Friday um, on YouTube, but I streamed yesterday before I recorded this video. Um, so before I get into that, I'll briefly explain what this video is. Um, this is a starter home. So we're, it's a base game starter home. So we're kind of going around those parameters. Um, I, I don't know why I just wanted to challenge myself a little bit when I was building, but I actually built this in like, I don't know, 35 minutes, I think it was. Um, that's why it's only in two times speed because it wasn't that long of a build. And, and when you're using starter anyways, um, it can be kind of easy or it, it, I feel like builds go by quicker because for me, what takes me the longest is putting the little things throughout the build that I like. Now, it doesn't start out as a plan on being a starter, but it does turn out to be a starter. I use only base game. Or, I mean, you know, plan, it, it was always supposed to be a starter, sorry. But it wasn't going to be a base game starter until after we change up these poles and everything. You'll see it come together in a little while. But now just to explain my week and my struggle of the, not really the weekend. The weekend was good because like I said, I didn't plan on recording or doing anything. But... The struggles came in when I came back from, I went camping and out and went to um, National Park and it was just, you know, I spent a, a weekend away from outdoors, you know, so where I could still social distance and do all these things, but I didn't want to be around people or technology. I was kind of just done with it really just due to personal things kind of going on in my life other than YouTube um, and all this that I was just kind of wanting to get away from and run away from my problems in a way, I guess, <laughs> um, is kind of how I'd say it. But... I got home and my computer's running really slow and it was actually running pretty slow even before. Um, so basically when for a few weeks now, it's kind of been acting up a little bit and I, and really I think it's cause I, I downloaded so many stuff and then deleted stuff, but thought that that would just clear the problem I had um, without ever really trying to clear the problem. And I have, you know, all the programs, it's a, I have a pretty nice PC. It's, it's, it's a, Alienware, but it's you know it's expensive Alienware. It's not like serious custom, you know. It's not it's not custom. I mean, uh, my next step for PC, I want to have a custom PC, but for right now, I have a, like I said, a pretty nice PC. is very expensive. It just isn't custom made for me, um, but it should still run well, is what I expect. Now it's just wasn't running well recently, so I decided to do a factory reset, and well, I did that, and um. I was kind of an idiot, which is why we're doing a streaming video today. Um, we're not streaming video, sorry, a build video today. I'm kind of an idiot because I saved my CC, which I rarely use in game anyways. To I uploaded that to the cloud, but I didn't save any of my save files or anything like that. So basically, I lost all my save files, meaning all the Let's Plays I was doing, all my building save files... Um, completely lost all of them. I don't know why I thought The Sims would automatically save those, but I think The Sims would if I had just uninstalled The Sims and then reinstalled The Sims, but that wasn't the issue. Now, if I would have done that, I believe The Sims actually does automatically, like there's a choice that says delete everything or just delete, you know, the game. Um, but since I was resetting this computer to completely delete all programs off the computer and then re, you know, kind of re-download everything. I haven't downloaded everything. That's the whole point. I didn't want to download everything. I've downloaded The Sims, Minecraft, all my recording stuff and editing stuff, and then I'll probably up download maybe Fortnite and COD this um, or Call of Duty this um, weekend. Or probably, yeah, I guess this weekend. Um, I, I don't know yet. I haven't quite decided. I'm definitely going to try to download Modern Warfare. I've also downloaded everything to my D drive, which is my... I have an, Basically, the Alienware that I have has two hard drives, one being a terabyte and one is only a couple hundred gigs. And for a while there, I was downloading everything to the couple hundred gigs until that got filled up and then downloaded everything else to the other drive. Well, I'm doing it the opposite this time. I'm going to just try to download as many things as I can, basically everything to the uh, separate drive that was much bigger. And then that way, my like main drive, hard drive of the computer won't be so clogged up. Again, I'm not super into the computers. I, I want to get more into it, but 
it is difficult. Uh, I feel like computers especially are like, there's always those groups that, are, you know, are very hard to get it into and, and for multiple different reasons, whether it be the crowd in that group or the language of that group. And I think computers are one of those things because there's so much and not really the crowd. I do think there is some computer elitist, but I feel like there isn't like I feel like there is and there isn't, you know, I feel like for the base majority of people, they're either PC or console. And if you're PC, they're all cool. Well, they don't care what PC you have. I mean, they do, but they, you know, they're just glad you're PC. They're glad you're one of them. Um, but the hardest part about getting into PCs and all that is really the language and the jargon and all that stuff you have to kind of understand um, along the way. So I'm still kind of getting into that realm. I don't know where I was going with this or what I was saying. Anyways, bottom line is we're going to start a new series. Um, I was... After I was working on my save file, as I mentioned quite a few times in videos, I'm trying to work on a save file of my builds. Um, now that's not super hard to put back together because all I had to do was go in the gallery and download all my basically all my builds back and, and my Sims um, back and up and just move them into where they were and where they're supposed to be, put all everything back to the way it was, and then it's done basically. So that's not the super hard part, but the hard part is. Um, Oh, well, that's not a super hard part, I should say, in that sense of kind of redownloading that. It'll be hard to kind of recreate all those friendships and, and remember how I had everything perfectly. Plus, the more annoying thing is I had a lot of builds that I had not finished yet, but I'd started or got relatively far into that were just there in my build world that never got uploaded to the gallery because they weren't done yet that are now gone. So that is kind of the frustrating thing. Um, but you know, I think there is some good to it because it does allow me to come back kind of and do my own thing, you know, it, you know, I, I, I can come back kind of fresh and, and for the fresh mindset, a fresh perspective. I, I'm really, truthfully, I'm not too bummed about some of the let's plays, uh, where they were, you know, I, 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 I wanted to go a different direction with kind of my let's plays. I wanted them to be more story based and I feel like they've kind of turned into more challenge based, which I like. Um, but I really wanted my Let's Plays to be more story-based, just playing the story out in front of you, not like editing, deep cuts, editing, all that. Um, so I think Let's Play-wise, it, it can be pretty good. I, I'm not too upset about it. It is upsetting because we were super far in one of them, and I was just getting... With Layla Organic, I actually really liked Layla. Thankfully, she was on the gallery. Whoa, ooh, I don't remember she was on the gallery. I don't think I did put her on the gallery, actually. Um, so Layla Organic might be lost. To the, I'd have to check. I, I haven't downloaded all the sims. I've downloaded all my builds, but not all the sims yet. I'll have to check if Layla is, in fact, on the gallery. And if she's not, that would be upsetting because she would be gone forever. Um, when I really did like her. And I liked her as a sim. I liked her personality. That's a bummer. Um, I know back at Green, my Twitch LP guy was on the gallery. I remember seeing him. But I do not know about Layla. I'll have to look into that. I kind of think I was waiting to upload Layla to basically until LP was over, but I don't know if I did that or not. I'll have to, like I said, I'll have to look into that if she's still in the gallery or not. That'd be very upset if she, upsetting if she's not. Um, but anyways, we'll just kind of jump over the fact of everything that's went wrong here, and we will go back to the video of what I'm doing and, and right now on the video. So, as I'm sure many of you know at this point, building a starter home is I think the worst thing in the sims not the worst in as in it's like the worst but it's the hardest it, it truthfully is one of the harder things to do in the sims to build a nice starter home that's why like since i've started building i really have given the devs some slack when it comes to the fact that their starters kind of suck um really their houses aren't great but i feel like when it comes to their houses they deserve more criticism, but when it comes to their starters, I feel like, you know what, they did the best they can. Um, I think from now on, not from now on, but the next starter I kind of have in my head is just going to be, really it's only going to be a starter because it's going to be an unfurnished house. And so you can technically move in there with nothing and kind of build it up, um, is the general idea. So that is kind of what we'll do with the next starter. But this one I wanted to be base game, I wanted to put some stuff in there and all that, so and kind of just build around it, you know? Um, so I did, I put like a basic furniture and all everything you need. It's got a bed. It, it actually has a, uh, 
what is it called? Why I'm blanking on it. It has a, a tub and a, um, a shower. So it's got two of those things and not the combined one, which now that I'm thinking about it actually might have been cheaper than buying both those separately. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Really, I just think I had extra money by the time I was doing the bedroom or the bathroom. So I was like, well, let's just put a tub. And we do play around with this living room quite a bit. It does change dramatically. We, we are about to change the doors here. And I don't actually hate the way they look. First off, these windows were giving me fits. I don't know why they weren't giving me fits before, but they're giving me fits now. Anyways, we do change it up quite a bit from what it is now because it absolutely sucks um, when you go to the gallery view. And I do quite a bit judge my builds, at least from the outside, off how they look in the gallery. Um, I don't know how some people can make their builds that are truthfully very mediocre, <laughs> um, but they look amazing on the gallery. I, I, I don't know how they do that. Um, I've tried many different things to make my builds look on the gallery, even my best builds look terrible in the gallery. Um, I, I've tried the different lot, you know, putting on a different lot than the one you built it on, you know, putting, rearranging the build so it's like on a different angle so it comes up normal, like facing normal when the camera takes a photo of it. First off, we also changed this bed because this bed is like two thousand some hundred dollars, um, which is for a starter, you can't be spending money like that. You cannot go crazy with your money. Uh, but yeah, so I don't know why my, the builds look terrible. This one's not truthfully that big of an exception. Like it's not my favorite build. I'll totally admit that right now. I think given the time I, and money of limitations, removing those limitations, um, I could have made a decent, this into a decent little house. And I still think, you know, you can when you go in there and move your sim in right away. Um, the whole reason I did this is because I wanted a starter home in this specific lot. I pretty much have almost this entire neighborhood done, actually, at this point. I am building one house on stream, which I'm not 100% sold on whether I like it or not. But I am building it on stream, um, so that's happening. And then, other than that, we just have the one 40 by 30 lot that's weird at the end of the, at, at the, end of the cul de sac or whatever you want to call it, the end of the neighborhood. And that's the last lot we have to build because every other house has been built. I do think I'll probably, at least for my save file, build another house here and probably put it, make it just a unfurnished house instead of trying to furnish a starter. Um, I, I do think I will do that just because I want, I don't think this house and this neighborhood kind of it's not like it looks out of place, but I wanted this house to be more of a modern starter. Um, and obviously that was not what we built at this point in time. It's just not. But yeah, so guys, that is kind of where we're at with this house. And here we are kind of changing things around. Like I said, that door is absolutely going to change. It looks hideous when you go to the gallery. When I went to the gallery view and was like, oh, I wonder if this looks good. It didn't. Um, and then we obviously get a cheaper bed so we can afford a dresser. And I mean, the bed added like three grand back to what we had so we've had a lot more room to kind of build things and, and put things with i don't know what i didn't like about that table but i do end up switching that ke kitchen table too I, I mean it's not a bad table that is a pretty decent base game table but i think we went for the cheaper table and then we went even for the cheaper um yeah the cheaper i don't know if they're actually cheaper but they're you know further left um chairs so i, I they might be the same price i mean some it wouldn't say if they're the same price and then here we go like it just hit me basically right here. I'm like, oh, I don't think that's going to look good. And then I go there. I'm like, oh, that doesn't look good. So we do switch it up and we actually switch up not a lot, but quite a bit of the front deck. We move it in a little bit and kind of move up the deck a little bit um, to change things around. And then we do um, another thing we could have got rid of probably to, to have some more money to decorate because we don't decorate at all in this house is we could have. What am I from blanking on? Well, we could have done the move the TV, got rid of the TV. Um, that was quite expensive. I think it's like it's still about a thousand dollar TV, just even for the kind of crappy one that it is. It's still about a thousand dollar TV, um, which so that would have probably been another thing I could have got rid of and, and would have been able to decorate more. We end up just putting a couple trees around the place, so it doesn't look too bad maybe in the gallery because like I think the trees kind of hide things a lot, and, and and in general landscaping hides things a lot. Oh, I didn't. I also just realized I did not put a 
mailbox. So I will have to put that one, put that in before I upload it to the gallery. I will have it uploaded to the gallery tonight for me, which is Thursday. So before this is going to go live on YouTube on Friday, I will have this on the gallery. Um, anyways, we are coming to the end of the video. Let me just quick, briefly remind everyone giveaway is still going on. You can still get your pack or get a chance of getting a pack. The next winner is going to be picked on the 17th of July. So not this, not tomorrow, not when this, not today when this video goes out, but next Friday. Um, so yeah, we're just putting the trees here and then the rest of this video is pretty much done with. We're going to go to screenshots here in a second, but yeah, you can still enter in the, in the giveaway if you haven't. Um, hopefully come visit me on stream. I, I was not streaming this house, but you can kind of see the house to the left, to the right of this, this house. I was streaming that today. So if you want to view me on stream, I love chatting with people. Um, I, I've been kind of down <laughs> on stream and in this video because of, I just realized how much of my stuff I kind of lost. So that is a little upsetting and, a little, and slightly depressing, I will admit, but we'll bounce back from that in the next video. Um, I have an awesome plan that I, or an awesome video idea that I'm going to put into place in the next video. I'm going to record it today and hopefully get that out tomorrow or Sunday. So that is it for this video, guys. As always, fly high today, and I hope you have a good one.